All right, Matt Lewis in for Roger Hedgecock. Welcome back. And now for a change of pace, let's talk about movies with the Matt Lewis uh, movie reviewer of choice. He He's a movie reviewer for Rotten Tomatoes and Big Hollywood. John Hanlon, welcome to the Roger Hedgecock Show. Thanks, Matt. Thanks for having me on. Sure thing. Well, let's talk about the movie Lincoln. It's getting a lot of attention, a lot of buzz. Is it any good? Ah, uh, yeah, it's very good. It's uh, Steven Spielberg's new movie with Daniel Day Lewis as the title character, and instead of taking a broad look at the life of Abraham Lincoln, this focuses on his bid to pass the Thirteenth Amendment. So as long as you know what it's about going in, yeah, you will definitely enjoy it. So good, it's very policy oriented. And but a good movie. Uh, let's say you're you're not a political person, but uh, mm-hmm. would you enjoy it? I I think it would I think it would be tough. Uh, I think if you're political and you follow the news, you would enjoy it. Or if you're a history buff, you would enjoy it. But if you're going in there expecting a broad, big movie like Saving Private Ryan, I think it would be difficult to enjoy it. Because it, it clocks in around two and a half hours. Wow. So it's a long movie as well. That is a long movie. Uh, Skyfall. This is the new James Bond movie. Um, how does it stack up with the others? And there's obviously a lot of action, but uh, how good is it? I think it's one of the best Bond movies. It's clearly uh, the best one in a number of decades because this this movie has the emotional element that a lot of the past Bond movies have been missing. This is this is Daniel Craig's third outing as James Bond, and he does a phenomenal job. And Judy Dench, who plays M, has a very major role in this movie, and so they elevate her, and there's an emotional element. So I think it's one of the best in years. And Action fans, the James Bond fans, should definitely check it out. So if if you don't know if you don't like politics, uh, you want fun, go to Skyfall instead of Lincoln. Uh, yeah, absolutely. This fl- movie Flight looks good. I, I it's not gotten great reviews, but it's Den- Denzel, I think, and uh, it, it looks pretty exciting. Wh- what did you think? Do you, did you uh, agree that it you know didn't live up to the hype, or did it? See, I. I enjoyed it. I don't think it lived up to the hype. I watched the trailer a few months ago, and it seemed like this was, it was a mystery about this plane crash and how the plane crash, all this stuff. It's more of a character study. Denzel Washington is this pilot who at the beginning of the movie has been drinking, and he does a little coke, and then he, he lands the plane even though there's all this there are issues with the plane. And it's more of a character study of how he gets over that and the investigation into him. So it's interesting. It wasn't the type of movie I thought it would be, but I still enjoyed it as a character study. Now, one of the best trailers I've seen all year is Argo. It looks like a great movie, um, but you know, I'm hearing mixed reviews. What did you think of Argo? I thought Argo was fantastic. It's one of the best movies of the year. This is based on a true story that was declassified a few years ago about the 1980 operation to rescue some of the fugitives who escaped the Iranian embassy when it was taken over, and they ran to the Canadian embassy. And so there was this plan to get those six people out of the Canadian embassy and bring them back to the United States, and that's what the movie focuses on. It's just a really well-done movie. Ben Affleck's the star. He also directed it, and I think it's one of the best of the year. I was always surprised by how good it was. So it's funny because I've heard mixed reviews, actually. It looks like it looked great, and then I heard a lot of mixed reviews. What – did you hear that too? And what was the? You, it sounds like you disagree with some of the other, uh, you know, reviewers on this that didn't like it so much. Yeah, I, I think it's tough. Uh, ben Affleck's done a couple of really big movies. He did Gone Baby Gone, and I think last year, the year before, he did The Town. So it's tough for him to keep going with all these great movies. But I really enjoyed it. Most of the people I know really enjoyed it. Some were a little disappointed because it takes. It's, there are some scenes that aren't based on real life. They just kind of Hollywood it up mm. uh, with the excitement and stuff. But I, I enjoyed it overall. I mean, it's based on a true story, but not everything in it is true, right. which is what happens in Hollywood, yeah. All right, so the, we've been talking so far about movies that are set to come out. Uh, mm-hmm. But one of the movies, you know, The Hobbit, I, it's C.S. Lewis, I think, um, who is a, a great Christian writer, and oh, uh, J.R.R. Tolkien. Oh, Tolkien. Okay, so Tolkien and yeah. C- I stand correct. Tolkien and C.S. Lewis were friends. Um, yeah. And Tolkien. Uh, so this is like you know, as a kid, I didn't read these books. I, I'm not part of this whole fantasy thing, but I feel mm-hmm. like I kind of need to be for literary purposes, and because they're sort of thought of as being conservative. Um, mm-hmm. Should I see The Hobbit? Would I like it? I, it seems weird to me, but it's also very respected. 
Yeah, well, I thought the original Lord of the Rings trilogy was great, and I, I have high hopes for this. It's the same director who did the Lord of the Rings. The questionable thing is, Lord of the Rings, those three movies were based on three separate books. The Hobbit is was one kid's book, and they're splitting it up into three different movies. Hmm. And so it's going to be interesting how the director, Peter Jackson, is able to split it up. I think that, I think they're still going to be good, but it's difficult. You don't know if they're splitting it up for story purposes or just to get as many movies out of it as they could. Right, to, to milk it. Um, all right, so there's this movie I keep hearing about. I have no idea what it is about. Life of Pi. It's, I hope it's about pumpkin pie, but w- what is Life of Pi? <laughs> it is actually actually nothing to do with actual pie <laughs> it's about uh it's based on a best-selling book it's about this kid who's on a boat with his family and they're moving their zoo from one country to another and the boat um the boat sinks and the kid is left on a boat on a little rowboat with a tiger sounds horrific <laughs> uh it's interesting it's <laughs> like castaway the the visuals are probably the best part of this. This is an Ang Lee movie, and it's done in 3D, and it's worth it to see in 3D because the visuals are amazing. It's still an interesting story, and it has a religious focus that I didn't realize would be there because the kid uh, is very religious and clearly on a boat with a tiger. He, he's praying to get off of it. Yeah. Um, it's a very interesting movie, so I would definitely see it, uh, especially in 3D. Okay, John Hanlon. Uh I think we've teased uh, people who want to find out about movies. How do they uh, how do they keep up with you and, and read your reviews? Uh, well, I'm on Big Hollywood, and you can get to my reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, but I also have my own site at johnhanlonreviews.com, and you can get me on Twitter at John Hanlon. All right, John Hanlon.